Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video, and um, this is kind of a, an unusual week for me because I have, it is 9.22 right now, and I have just switched the video that I'm going to make because the other one was kind of bad. So basically what's going on here is I'm setting up a Brian Tramp hatchery, and so for those of you who don't know, Brian Tramp is a really good food to feed your fish, and so today uh, I'm setting up a brine shrimp hatchery so that you could hatch it at your own house rather than buying it. So, enjoy the video. Alright, so here is some of the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to want, now this is up to you. This is um, a base that makes it easier so you could just attach your air down through here. But in a lot of ways I've seen it, you could just run your airline tubing straight from the top of the bottle down to the bottom and take the top and cut it off and invert it but there's a lot of ways you can do this but this one is specifically for this stand type deal and so you're gonna need an air pump um, which keeps the water turbulent and always spinning so that you can't have eggs and stuff sit at the bottom you're gonna need you're gonna need brine shrimp eggs now this is it's called Sally's hatch mix and this actually has brine shrimp eggs and salt in it so normally what you do is you put your eggs in and you put your salt in and your baking soda to baking sodas to help with the pH it makes the water more hard and so with this it kind of already mixes the salt and shrimp eggs together so you already have the right ratio and got the knife here to cut the end off the bottle you don't need this bottom part so we're just going to chop that off you're going to need some airline tubing and then you're going to need a light so the light is upstairs and i'll get to that part later but for right now i'm just going to cut the bottle off and get that ready all right uh, i got tip number one for you use a good knife holy crap this thing was this thing was bad so, use a good knife and uh, you can get some better cuts, but since, since I don't have too many tanks, I'm not going to be filling it up all the way to the 2 liter mark, so it doesn't even matter for me. Um, so cut the top off right where it starts to, basically right where it stops being flat and it starts to, starts to curve, you don't need that part. So once we have this, we could screw it into our base, and so I'm going to do that. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got our base put in, and if you look right here, there is a little hole down at the front, and this is for our airline tubing. And so you put your tubing right here, and you thread it out through the little hole here, and uh, that'll connect to your air pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread it up. All right, so once you get the base all set up and hooked up to the air pump, then we could start getting the brine shrimp ready and the salt water mixture. So I'll meet you upstairs and let's do that.
Alrighty, it is time for comment of the week. You guys already know you're on top of it. You're commenting. If you're one of the cool kids, you always watch to the end of the video because you know comment of the week is is the best part. So I'm gonna hand it over to Gibby. Take it away. All right, what do we have here? We got Jacob Marcheseau. All right, he's first. No need to brag, Jake. I mean, come on. Uh, his weekend was good, and yes, my weekend was was also good. So. Thank you, Jake, for commenting. And um, yeah, so I'm talking about the upload schedule every Sunday. You know, um, I've been cutting it close every every time. I'm gonna try and stay on top of it. You know, I feel like I could do a better job editing. I mean, like check out all these edits. I'm just Mission failed. Oh my god! But really what the, the plan is here I'm kind of asking you guys comment down below if you think it'd be better if I did more edits you know I don't know if that's gonna take away from the educational piece at all but if you think that'll be more entertaining then I will definitely work on putting some more edits here you like you know like an explosion here some confetti you know just wonder if uh, that's something you guys want to see so thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. All right, I'm sorry. I know you're tired of me. I'm dragging this out here. Um, I have just finished editing and it is 11.14. So here's what I'm gonna do. For each time I don't upload on Sunday, I'm gonna initiate a double upload. So I'm going to be uploading two videos this week because I'm gonna get this one out late. So I'll probably get this one out tomorrow or maybe like at one or something but the double upload is in effect uh, I'm sorry for making the people wait and you guys are gonna get a double upload sorry for wasting more of your time and I will see you later this week